Your name? Michael Hart. Your occupation? Social media and content manager. And your specialist subject? Oasis. Explore them all. Are you ready? Yes, let's have it. Your time starts now. Oasis played their first gig on the 18th of August 1991 at which music venue in Little Peter Street, Manchester? The Boardwalk. Correct. Before Noel Gallagher joined brother Liam in Oasis, he worked as a roadie for which Manchester band? In Spiral Carpets. Correct. Liam named the group after seeing a band poster on the Gallagher's bedroom wall listing the Oasis Leisure Centre in which English town? Swindon. Correct. Oasis made their first national TV appearance in 1994, performing what debut single live on Channel 4's The Word? Supersonic. Correct. Oasis was signed by Creation Records' Alan McGee after he saw them play at a gig he was attending to see which of his own label's bands. Uh, 18 Wheeler. That's right. The Master Plan is an album of B-sides that features a live cover version of which Beatles song that typically ended an Oasis gig? I'm the Walrus. Correct. After the band was dissatisfied with the album's original recordings, Definitely Maybe was re-recorded in which studio in Cornwall? Sawmill Studios. Correct. Which track on What's the Story, Morning Glory has the opening lyric, Here's a Thought for Every Man? Uh, Cast No Shadow. That's right. Which studio album was the last to feature drummer Alan White, who replaced founding member Tony McCarroll in 1995? Heathen Chemistry. Correct. The album title, Standing on the Shoulder of Giants, is based on a quote made famous by which influential English scientist? Isaac Newton. Correct. Definitely Maybe became the fastest selling debut album in UK history after being released on what date of 1994? August 29. Correct. Which American produced and mixed Oasis's last studio album, Dig Out Your Soul, and also co-produced Don't Believe the Truth? Dave Sardi. Correct. Directed by Nigel Dick, the music video for which song features British actor Patrick McNee as a chauffeur? Don't Look Back in Anger. Yes. The Morning Glory album cover features sleeve designer Brian Cannon and DJ Sean Rowley crossing paths on which London street? Berwick Street. Correct. Which Oscar-nominated actor and musician plays sly guitar on the Be Here Now track, Fade In Out? Johnny Depp. That, Michael, is another correct answer. Well, no passes there for you, Michael, and a score of 15. Very strong start. Thank you so much. Thank you.